at a rare plant find today at Home Depot. Uh, I guess if it's at Home Depot, it's not a rare plant anymore, but indulge me, I'd like to think I found something rare. And um, that is a African Golden Candelabra, and it's a Euphorbia Amec Variegata, and it needs bright light, so I'm going to have to really struggle hard to find bright light for this one. But to be quite honest, I was there for a grow light. Let me show you this first. I have this LED plant grow light. It's supposed to be a full spectrum. And I've actually never seen one like this. So uh, let me know if you guys have any of these for your regular lamps. I have some dark corners and I wanted to give this a try and see if it works, maybe I'll get a few more, but my house is so dark and I think if I supplement the light with a few grow lights, um, I might have better luck with some of the plants that, that do require brighter light. So I went into Home Depot and of course I can't go in without passing the plant section. And everything looked pretty neglected and um, not in great shape. So this is actually a rescue, I would call it, because it is bone dry. I mean, it is just cracked soil. So I hope that this plant will survive the, the neglect, but I found it on a bottom shelf. It was the only one and it was knocked over and in the dark. So um, I looked for another one and I didn't see it and I decided, well, I'll just bring this guy home and give it a try and hopefully it's not neglected so much that it won't bounce back. But let me go ahead and give it a water right now while we're together. And it, I'm looking at the bottom and there's different color on the bottom, but it's not soft. I wouldn't have purchased it if it was soft. So uh, like I said, I hope that uh, letting it dry out this much in the heat of their greenhouse isn't going to be a problem. But let's give it a good drink. and. I did read that during the summer, it does like to get quite a lot to drink. So I think I'm going to give it a small drink today just because it's not even used to being watered after being at Home Depot. Just give it a little drink all the way around, but not too much today because like I said, we don't want it to go into shock. So we'll start with just a little bit. And in a couple days, that looks much better already, but in a couple days, I'll start introducing a little more water to get it hydrated again. But it's, it's just such a beautiful plant when it's grown and it's healthy. Let me show you the variegation. But when these get big, it's almost like a sculpture. So I really hope I'm going to be able to rescue this and it will grow taller for me, but I just think they're such unusual, beautiful plants. And uh, I'll, I, that'll, that'll do it for now with the drink, but look at that. Look at the edge of that. That is just so unique and sculptural. So I am happy to have that one, and I will let you guys know how the light bulb goes. That's going to be indoors. And maybe over the winter I'll get this Euphorbia, a light bulb for itself, because variegated plants usually need more light than pure green ones. They have less chlorophyll, so you have to really give those much brighter light. And uh, in my house that's a challenge. We don't have the best windows, we have overhangs, and um, it's just not very bright in my home. So this is one that I probably will have to supplement the light on. And I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping uh, that the neglect that it got at the store isn't going to kill it. And it will enjoy being here in my collection. So thanks for tuning in, guys, to see my new addition and my plant rescue. And uh, hopefully in future updates, you'll see this guy thriving. Thanks for watching. Bye.